what up what up jeff joseph here back with another video listen you see the thumbnail you see the title so you already know what i'm about to talk about actually y'all probably know about what i'm gonna talk about before i know what i'm gonna talk about because i wasn't planning on vlogging this but i'm in chattanooga tennessee i just picked up a load and I just went to go get me something to eat, some vegan food. It's hard to find vegan food, so I wanted to make sure I got something good to eat. And uh, seeing this nice little scenery, I figured I'd capture it real quick. But more on that in a second. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And Siri, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And Turn on post notifications real quick, guys. I want to go ahead and just get I got a truck in the background. I'm faulty legal. <laughs> just want to capture this scene. I guess since I started it, I'll go ahead and finish this video with whatever I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about something, pass on some gains, some knowledge. But look, got all this. What's going on? Y'all see that? It's dope. Cool little chill spot. This is what I really wanted y'all to see. I just wanted to capture that real quick. I wanted to show y'all that real quick. Now, back to the business. So basically, picking up this load in Chattanooga, Tennessee, is going to a city right outside of Cincinnati. Uh, Ohio so quick trip really just kind of getting in position for the weekend run today is Thursday and um, trying to get back to the Midwest where the lows are really booming right now uh, just so I can have something good over the weekend so taking this little reposition and um, I'll let y'all know how it goes um, hopefully I get some good b-roll for y'all and on top of that, I'll let y'all know how the weekend long haul goes. Usually the weekends are for longer hauls. So yeah, man, I get back with y'all. Let y'all know how it goes. See y'all on the road. sometimes yeah but this the load i don't even know what it is y'all to be honest it look like doors no but everything looked good just like it did when i left um i don't know what this is it's gotta be doors huh i don't know it's some sort of doors or some type of something but uh, yeah, so everything looked good. Let's go ahead and shut this out. So I made it to my drop. About to go ahead and back into the dock real quick. This wasn't a bad journey at all. This is nothing. It's like a little cakewalk. y'all so like i was saying getting down here was easy i played around getting here i stopped to eat i just kept stopping because <laughs> it was like i had plenty of time to get here so i'm actually uh waiting to get unloaded now i just backed up to the dock and um i might go see if i can film something um, they got a lot of stuff going on in there. I just got checked in and they like welding shit. There's fire everywhere, melting stuff down. So I don't know if they're gonna allow me to go back in there, but um, if I can, I will. But I'm about to All right, y'all, so like I was saying, I went ahead and dropped that load off with nothing to it. Uh, ended up being $2.11 a mile, uh, 379 miles. 
from Chattanooga to a little city right outside of um, Cincinnati. So, with none to it. I also want to say that for everybody who sent me a DM asking about the $750 a week lease, um, I'm gonna try to get to you, I'm gonna respond to you. Um, just give me some time. Uh, it's a lot of DMs, it's a lot more than I anticipated. I didn't think that many people would reach out. Um, but I'm gonna respond to you if I haven't already. Just give me some time. If you're watching this video and you want to know that information for the first time, uh, you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait to a future video. I'll make a video on it. Um, but right now, it's just way too many DMs for me to respond to. Um, you can still DM me your questions if you have questions. Uh, it just probably, probably take me a little bit while to get back to you. Um, but pretty much. I'm gonna try to summarize all y'all questions in future videos because it's just way too many DMs, y'all. It's way too many DMs. Um, it's crazy, but I underestimated it and I don't even have a large following yet. So, uh, sorry about that. I'm about to go ahead and get me a workout in. I know y'all see it in the back. Um, and that's another thing too, y'all. You just gotta stay committed to all your goals and your values and principles, right? Like one of my values is being in good shape, um, keeping up my appearance, looking good, feeling good. Uh, and so it's easy to, to miss, you know, because you're on a truck most of the time. But I always make sure that I find time while I'm on this road to get to the gym at least three days out the week. I used to go five days a week before I got on the truck, but, um, yeah, I mean, you just gotta stay committed to your goals, your values and your principles, right? Like a lot of people ask me in general about like just being a high value person, like being a person that attracts, attract the people, attract the deals. Um, and I always tell them like the answer is to just become the person that you're seeking, become the person that you would wanna do business with, become the person that, you know, that you, you, you're seeking after whether it be relationships, whether it be business, whether it be a career or whatever it may be, you gotta become that person that people want to work with, that people want to be around, that friend that people want to invite places. You gotta become who it is that you're trying to bring into your life. That's the only way that you're gonna get it is because you attract what you are, not what you want. And so I just think that's a very important uh, point to just make to just stay committed to your your goals and then you find people that's committed to you you know you're gonna find committed deals once you show and prove to your subconscious that you're committed to wherever it is and again like even with attracting certain people which for example me and my girlfriend my future fiance uh, the reason why we're attracted to each other is because we're on the same wavelength uh, she's uh, an attractive female she's high value and uh, both do the same thing so naturally uh we're gonna be attracted to each other we were brought together and uh, it's because we're on the same wave same wavelength so anyway i'm not gonna go on a long rant about that the point is to make sure that you just become the person that you want to be with you want to be with a nice person become a nice person that's another thing i wasn't always a nice person i was kind of an asshole uh, <laughs> uh, when I was younger, I was definitely an asshole. You want to attract a high value person or situation, then you have to become a high value person or create the situation. But I'm about to go ahead and get a, get a good workout in, you know, gotta stay fit, gotta stay young, you know, getting kind of up there in age. I mean, I'm trying to figure out how old I am. Good luck with that. You could try. In fact, I'd like to see y'all try. I'm gonna see if y'all can guess how old I am. Put it in the comments below and let me know what y'all think. That would be interesting. I'll give y'all a clue. Give y'all a clue. I am not in my teens anymore. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> yeah, man. That's all I really want to say. Quick load. Really wasn't much to it. And I'm um, about to go get me a little workout in. Hopefully I drop some on y'all that was helpful. Uh, if not, try again in the next video. But I'll catch y'all later. See you on the road. That's the wrong side. <laughs>